morning, alumni. Um, my name is Alexis Rodriguez, and I will be your host for today's campus tour. We'll just be going around the campus and showing you maybe what's been updated or what's new since the last time you've been on campus. So today we're starting our tour in the Campus Union Building, and we're downstairs right now in the Greyhound Lounge, which was uh, newly renovated. Um, down here we've had um, theme parties, karaoke nights, um, comedians, poets. Um, we've also have like new gaming systems put in. Um, we have two flat screen TVs that are connected to Xbox and Playstations, um, as well as like many tables around here. Um, students come and typically just hang out, do some homework, or like I said, come for many of the events put on by ASAB. Um, we also have a foosball table, as well as um, pool tables and air hockey for students to come and play. Um, while they're down here. And like I said, it is newly re renovated and this is just one of the new cool things that we just got done. All right. And now we're gonna take a walk through the Campus Union Building. This way is still the Multicultural Affairs Office, um, located over there with all the Multicultural Affairs Departments, such as Hispanic Affairs, Native American Affairs, African Affairs, and things like that. Located to my left, we have the um, student government chambers. So if you were in student government while you were here, they're still located downstairs. Now we are in the Campus Union lobby. Um, it might look a little different if you were here a couple years ago when they had only carpet. Um, so they changed the floor. So we got new flooring in here. As well as um, I know that we added more flags from different um, countries that we did not have. As well as um, due to COVID reasons, <laughs> we had to take out all the furniture. So that's why it might look a little bit empty. dining hall which is still the cafeteria with all the delicious meals that you could possibly remember the Office of Housing and Residence Live. And our handy dandy sanitized stations. Okay. Now we are on the um, Dan Sanders Memorial Plaza. Still pretty much <laughs> looks the same. Right, we have the campus bookstore. 
or to my left, it was on the right when I was turned this way. <laughs> and then to my left, we also have the College of Business. Um, if you were a business major or took just general classes, um, that's typically where your classes would have been. And now we're going to continue our tour and walk towards the uh, Jawala building, the Jack Williams Liberal Arts. campus is still as green as usual and as lovely as usual. All the trees still blossoming. And like I said, here is the um, College of Business. Still in the same spot. <laughs> And then now coming up on um, our left is the education building. So if you were an education major, you might remember all of your classes, particularly being in that building. It's this way, though. As we get closer to um, the Jawala building, you can see the just grander scale of it and just the full picture of the whole building. To the left there, we got the Food Sciences building now, which was the old FCS building. And Art and Anthropology is over there, if you can see it as well. And the Child Development Center is still going strong behind there. of the um, Jack Williams Liberal Arts Building. tutoring stations available here um, as well as the writing center which typically helps all anybody that has a paper <laughs> helps helps them and does corrections for them um, we also have the Zyme located um, in the corn corner down that hallway and it's just another place for students to get food coffee just something real quick before class which is really convenient especially if you spend most of your days here so we are gonna continue to walk down this lovely hallway. 
Um, and most of the classrooms here are pretty big um, and spacious. And on my left, we have um, some professors' offices that are located here as well on the first floor. This lecture hall is typically one of uh, the biggest um, lecture halls that are, are here on campus in this building. It's quite nice. It's got the smart classroom features too as well. before previously we have the writing center um, on this left side and as well as the zyme and then um, down here to my right there's more classrooms and as well as some math departments um, and professors offices of the Jawala building. A nice little area for students to come and maybe eat their sandwich that they bought from the Zyme or just do homework, as well as the patio that we have here. And behind the patio, we have the uh, UCC, the University Computer Center. Next we are coming up on my left is the music building.
are coming towards the front of the music building, which is really beautiful, especially with all of the glass windows that it has. And behind it is the Student Academic Services Building. And then we are also coming up on the back side of the Administration Building. to help renovate um, that building and just um, make it better equipped for um, science majors with new labs and creating multiple jobs for people here in eastern New Mexico. coming up on um, the Golden Student Success Center, which is our newest building here on campus. Um, one thing that I do want to point out is our new emergency lights. Um, so if you're on campus at night or in the, in the daytime, it doesn't matter. You can go ahead and click that if you're in a state of emergency and it'll make a uh, very, very loud, loud sound if you need help and authorities will be contacted. that is also still um, a little bit more to the right. Oh, here's 
Betsy Chavez too. Can you say hi, Betsy? Hi guys, how are you guys doing? Live on uh, the Alumni Association Facebook page. So oh, hey, wonderful. For a virtual tour, so. Good. You need to gun us real quick? Uh, yes, us I do, you. and you can get your head sanitized real quick too, please. for students to study. And this is our big presentation yes. room as well. This is where we hold guest lectures, have a total smart classroom capabilities. So yes. when we're open, this is a great place for, for guest lecturers to come in and present. Yes. And then also to, um, here, I'll take this. Thanks, Betsy. <laughs> we also have free tutoring here located in the GSSE. There's multiple tutors for any class. Um, like Betsy always says, you shouldn't be failing a class because tutoring is free. So here's her little flyer with all the information needed. And then also to the left we have a computer lab. So if you are a student here on campus that doesn't, um, that you don't have access to a computer, the GSSE has those available to you. And we also have our veterans lounge right there as well for our veteran students. GSSC is one of the best places to study. Um, there's so many different places you can go and not have any distractions. And so here we have the Hound Hub. Um, it always has someone here to answer any questions wave. you might need. You're on live. <laughs> wave. Say hello. hello. <laughs> <laughs> and like I said, they're here to answer any questions that you need, maybe provide tutor times or tutor schedules. Um, if you need a book checked out as well, they can help you. Um, and then on this side, here's more some uh, more study courses. And this is one thing that is really cool about the GSSC. Um, it has a very interactive board if you want to write a nice little message on the board and leave it for other students. Um, if you need tutoring, there's tutoring schedules to find. And then it also has all of our social media updates, anything that you could possibly need on updates for the university. And then to my right, we have the Einstein's Lunch Tables, which is a great place to get an amazing snack if you're feeling hungry, especially on those long nights for midterms. And now we're going to head upstairs. We want to show, so well, this oh, is a two-story interactive screen that we can showcase student artwork on. Let's head over to the, to the Reynolds Gallery to oh, show okay. that off, too. So, so this, this screen here can show off student artwork. Everyone, so. slogan up on the library. Um, another awesome amenity of the GSSC is if you do not have a printer or need to make copies, you can do that here as well in the labs. And there's also all the books that you could possibly check out that you might need for any of your classes. different um, in this gallery to check out so maybe if students need a study break they can come down here and just take a walk and just to see what um, artworks that we have here 
And now we're going to head upstairs to the um, second floor. about the GSC is we have these big windows so maybe if you want to study with a view it's a great place gives a nice view of the campus GSSC, we also have the Herman Miller collection, um, and all this was in the old library. One of my personal favorite things about the GSSC is they have these little study pods. Um, like I said, there's uh, great places for you just to study and have no distractions. And this is one of my favorites, as well as um, if we continue walking this way, there are the study rooms, which you could go in to and close the door and then really be <laughs> uh, just with no distractions and just pure silence to be able to study. And on this side, we have more books and stuff available for students to check out. Here in the GSC, we also have this awesome mural. Since they come over as part of the re renovation, they actually went ahead and uh, we actually preserved this while they were working on it to uh, keep it in its current state. I'm glad you know that because I didn't know yeah. that. Yep. Special collections coming up on the right. We actually have an. It, this is totally air conditioned, so climate controlled mm -hmm. rooms for our special collection. Jack Williamson's office is in here. Um, we have his collection in there, which includes an original script of uh, *The Empire Strikes Back* that our students can take a look at, um, and all of Jack Williamson's books are in there as well. So. Great study carols to block off noise. And then uh, on my left, we have the journals and government documents um, that are also available here at the GSSC. And this is um, another awesome view <laughs> that we have here with all the great windows. And then if you come closer, you can also look out and there you see the Reynolds Gallery. <laughs> um, thank you for watching if uh, you followed me along on this tour. Um, we will be doing some more giveaways if you missed that this morning for the Alumni Affairs Association. Um, but this concludes our tour so thank you for watching. <laughs>